Your brain thinks in pictures, not really in words. You use words to describe the pictures. The thing is, your body reacts to the pictures, again, not really the words. If I say to you, don't think of a red ball, first thing you think of is a red ball. If I say, think of a green ball, you also think of a green ball. Effectively, your brain blocks out don't, shouldn't, or mustn't. So, when you're talking to yourself or others, it's important to be aware of the pictures you're creating with the words that you use. A lot of us use words which are counterproductive, or phrases which work against us. If you say to somebody or to your kids, Don't slam the door! You're giving them a mixed message. You're saying, don't, which we've just established your brain ignores, and then you're giving them a very strong and vivid picture of a door slamming. So don't slam the door, you're effectively giving a mixed message. You're telling them intellectually not to do something, and you're giving them a very strong picture which they will react to of a door slamming. So instead of using that, what can we use? If you use a phrase like, please close the door gently, this is far more effective because you're giving yourself and other people a clear image of what you want them to do. It's not only what you say and the words you use that paint a picture, it's how you say it. So your tone and your body language contribute 70% of your message. So if I say, I'm really happy to be here, you don't really believe me. Even though the words are saying I'm happy to be here, my tone and body language is saying I'm not. So be careful of the words you use, because those words create pictures. And the pictures are what people respond to. A client of mine used to say, I mustn't eat chocolate cake because it makes me fat. Think of the images she's creating with those words. <coughs> and <coughs> Now when she changed that to, I love eating healthy food because it makes me feel fantastic, she was creating a positive picture of what she wanted. Your brain thinks in pictures, emotional pictures. Think of the image that what you're saying creates and the emotion that it evokes. That is what you respond to. That's what motivates you. That's what demotivates you. So go think of positive pictures. Close the door gently.